Hello brothers and sisters. Um, I didn't plan to make this video, but I felt an urgency to say something. So whatever I say, it's not planned. It's just something that's just coming from me right now. Um, I know it's been a while and I apologize. I just, I just have been f dealing first with, you know, my own things, my own life, the things that are going in, on in my life. <clears throat> but that's not the reason why I came to speak. I feel an urgency to tell you guys to get your hearts right. Jesus is coming with the things that are going on in this world right now. I know that you see. I know that you, that you see everything that is going on. And it's important for us to have our hearts right with the Lord. Many believe that you know, with the deception that is going on in the world right now, with people saying that they're Christians, but they continue to live their life the, the same way that they were living their lives before they were Christians, before they were saying they were Christians. I know there's a process and a pro well, progress that happens after you start to believe in Jesus. It's sanctification. He puts you, he helps you. He helps us to change the way our, the way of life but we can't continue to be in the standstill, the stagnant way of living. We have to, we have to change. We can't just continue to smoke or drink or use profanity in every single word that we speak or to continue to be rude or mean to people. There has to be a change in our life. And right now there's a lot of people that are going around saying that they're Christians, that they believe and they feel like because they believe in Jesus, Yes, that's important, and yes, that's what it says, but it also says that we should be Christ-like, that we should be put away our old man, and to be made and to walk in our new man. And when we, and also this, what we reap is what we sow. What we sow is what we reap, I'm sorry. And if we continue to sow into our flesh, it's going to reap corruption. If we sow into our spirit, it's going to reap everlasting life. So sow into your spirit. And I'm not just saying this to y'all. I'm saying this to myself as well. Because, of course, we're human. And then it's not an excuse, but we continue to live our life. And to ask God to help us in our, in our way. In the way that he wants us to live but it's important for us for our hearts to be made right in God there's a lot going on in the world where it has to do with a lot of hate going on a lot of hatred and in the Bible it's important for us to live in love the world will continue to grow more and more wicked Every single day is going to get more and more wicked. As time goes by, as Jesus gets closer and closer for his coming, the world will continue to get more and more wicked. We, as Christians, as a body of Christ, as true believers, we need to continue to love. And it doesn't matter what people have done to us in the past. It doesn't matter what we're going through. It doesn't matter what happens to us. We have to be steadfast in faith, to stand strong in faith, to love to love and to show love not just say that you love people not just to say things in tongue and in word but we have to live it we have to live our actions have to show it's the same way with your relationship with the boyfriend or girlfriend or husband or wife you don't just say that you love them you show them that you love them and it's the same thing with our relationship with God and it's the same thing how we say that we have faith will show your faith you don't just say that you have faith and continue on to live the way that you want to live that's not that's not the way that God wants us to live that's not the way that Jesus wants us to live and that's not the way that he lived he was here as an example for us to live and we should live by it we're not going to be perfect he's not telling us to be perfect but he knows our hearts he knows if we're trying to live in the way that to please him he he knows our hearts if we have true faith in him because it starts all in faith faith is basically jesus jesus is faith we have to have faith i say this because as i said 
The world is getting more wicked and we need to stand and have faith. We have to stand in love. We have to stand in spirit and in truth and pray in spirit and in truth. We have to continue to pray. We have to continue to get close to the Lord and to help others around us to continue to encourage because I'm, I've been needing an encouragement, my mom and our family and the body of Christ. That's why it's so important for us to stand close and to continue to be in fellowship with the brothers and sisters because I'm not the only one that's going through this. My mom is not the only one that is going through what she's going through or anybody else. We're all going through the same thing and we need encouragement through this time to continue to tell our brothers and sisters in Christ to continue to stand strong, to stand fa to stand fast in your faith, to stand firm in what you believe and don't let the world change your mind. Don't be conformed to the ways of this world, but conform your way to the Lord's will. We have to continue to stand strong in that and continue to encourage one another. Continue to pray fervently for one another. And when you pray, have faith in what you're saying. What's the point of praying if you have some type of doubt in your heart or in what you're saying? You, you don't even know what you're praying for. If you, that's what you're going to receive, what's the point of praying then? You have to have faith in what you're praying for. And so I pray for my brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus right now. And I pray that we stand strong in one mind and one spirit. That we stand strong until the Lord comes for us. That you stand fast in your faith to be firm, grounded and rooted in the Lord's love and his faith. And in peace and hope in him to know that no matter what happens in this world, no matter what happens while we're here waiting for the Lord to pick us up, don't you lose that faith. Don't you lose that hope. Yes, we're going to be afraid from time to time. But fear is what the enemy wants us to fill. He doesn't want us to be hopeful. He doesn't want us to be joyful in the Lord. So he's going to put distractions. He's going to mess with our emotions and our thoughts and our minds. And, and my daughter needs prayer. She is going through some things right now. And I she just she she knows the lord she has faith in the lord but the enemy's really messing with her mind right now but um i know that god will pull her through and i know that her i i continue to pray for her faith to continue to stand strong that she continues to believe god's promises what he says in the bible what he says in his word is true and we have to stand in those promises to know that his promises are true his promises he will stand by and I pray that no matter what you are going through whether it be physical spiritual emotional uh, financial stand fast in your faith in Jesus stand firm in your faith hold on to that hold on to it that's what's going to get us through our problems. That's what's going to get us through these trials and tribulations. Pray for the Lord's uh, strength that he may fill you with his joy. That we may continue to persevere and, and endure in whatever we're going through during the time that we're, whatever that we're going through. Don't stop praying. Don't stop having hope. Don't stop having faith in the Lord. Keep encouraged keep encouraging others I truly pray that our hearts I say our our hearts are made clean pure and blameless until the day of our redemption the Lord's coming I know you see it I know that you feel it even more and more each day the Lord loves you and he wants us to win. He wants us to prevail. He wants us to stand strong. He wants us to be with him. So encourage one another. Remember, Jesus said he will never leave us nor forsake us. And he is a God that cannot lie. He cannot lie. And he promised us. He promised us. And stand fast in his promises. Remember his promises. Hold tight to his promises. Because no matter what we have in life or don't have in life, we have the Lord's promises. 
and his promises are true. We will always be with him if we stand fast in faith. He will always be with us. No matter what happens to our body, we will be with him forever. The enemy can't take that away from us. But I love you guys. I pray this encouraged you a little bit and reminded you because especially now, um, I feel like I'm going through, um, I would say, um, like mentally, like uh, the enemy attacking my mental um, lies, you know, the deception and um, questioning and stuff like that. But as long as I allow him to do that, he's winning. And as long as I'm a in worry and stressing, that's not putting faith in the Lord. And that's sinning against the Lord. We're sinning against the Lord when we worry, when we stress, when we are just in a fearful and nervous and anxious mind state. That's not having faith in the Lord. You're not putting faith in the Lord. You're you're actually doing the opposite. You're saying that the, that God can't do what he said that he will do. Have faith. When you start to worry, you start to stress, you start to be fearful, shut that shut that emotion off real quick. Pray against it, rebuke it in Jesus name. Remove those thoughts of negativity and doubt and fear. Remove it in the name of Jesus. And everything you say and everything that you do, do it all in the name of Jesus with faith. With faith because that, that faith in prayer, faith in hope, faith in anything else, that is what's going to get the Lord's attention. That's what's going to keep us strengthened in Him. So I love you guys. I'm going to continue to pray for you. Pray for me and my family, the Columbus family. I pray for y'all in the name of Jesus. And if y'all need anything... Let me know. I want to continue to keep encouraging you guys. And I pray that this helped y'all as well. Good night. Be blessed. In Jesus' name, I love you.